this video, we overview some features of IntelliJ IDEA that make development for databases incredibly easy. Set the data source name. Select JDBC driver. We can specify a jar with the driver or ask IntelliJ IDEA to download it for us. Select the directory to download the jars to. Done. Type the database URL, credentials, and then test the connection. Now we can select the schemas we want to work with. And finally, set the default SQL dialect for the console. Refresh the view, and now we see the table structure. You can also see the tables on the UML diagram. Now let's try running a query. You see completion works fine, like the query itself. We can edit the table data right in the results. But it's more convenient to do in table editor. Try adding a new record. OK, let's look at SQL queries in Java code. Without code assistance, it's just plain text. Let's change that by injecting MySQL language. You see, now IntelliJ IDEA understands SQL and provides additional features. What about running the query? It will automatically ask for parameter values. In addition to live data source, you can work directly with DDL. Copy the definition of our database to a file and make some changes. Now we add another data source from the DDL file. It will ask for SQL dialect if it isn't set already. You can see it works the same way. Now let's compare the data sources. Here it shows the change we made. With this feature you can easily track changes in database structure. The last feature for today is Find Usages. It helps you find all usages of a particular table or field in all your project files. We hope you will find these database tools and SQL support useful as you develop with IntelliJ IDEA.